Now, the former lead singer with the Welsh rock group Lost Profits has pleaded guilty to a string of sex offences, included the attempted rape of a baby. Cardiff Crown Court heard that Ian Watkins was seen on video abusing a child and that he'd spoken of plans to get a baby hooked on hard drugs by blowing crystal meth smoke into its face. Our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Davies has this report and just to warn you, some of the details are extremely disturbing. They sold three and a half million albums, lost profits. The rock group whose fan base stretched across the Atlantic and whose frontman Ian Watkins had the swagger to match the lyrics. In court today, he was barely audible, offering guilty pleas to a series of horrific sexual offences, including the attempted rape of a boy who was just 11 months old. And in the dock beside him was the mother of that boy, as well as the mother of a little girl, both of whom pleaded guilty to helping the 36-year-old singer sexually assault their babies. They can't be named for legal reasons. This investigation has uncovered the most shocking and harrowing child abuse evidence I've ever seen. There is no doubt in my mind that Ian Watkins has exploited his celebrity status in order to abuse young children. The attempted rape happened at this London hotel last April. His mother, who's from Yorkshire, took him there for Watkins to abuse, and he filmed it. At the singer's home in Pontypridd, the police, with the help of GCHQ accessing his passwords, found more images of severe child abuse on his computers and phones, as well as a stream of highly distressing text exchanges between Watkins and the two women. The exchanges contain grotesque and often sadistic references about what they'd like to do to the children, including talk at one point of teaching one of the babies how to take drugs. Much of the detail is simply too horrific to report. Ian Watkins was a determined paedophile, said the prosecution today. South Wales police declared they'd work tirelessly to seek out any other victims. But did they miss previous warnings about Watkins? Four other forces had passed on information, and now the police watchdog is investigating whether South Wales police should have acted sooner. Ian Watkins and the two women will be sentenced next month. Andy Davis, Channel 4 News, Cardiff Crown Court.